Hola, Osla here from Simply Cuba Tools and today I would like to discuss food and dietary requirements with you. Generally speaking, our tools will always include your breakfast and um, in some of the tools we will also um, include your pack lunches either for the full duration of the tool or part of the tool depending on the activities for the day and also we will include some dinners, not all dinners, but some dinners where in places where we believe that you can get the true Cuban hospitality or you can get an outstanding farm to plate um, experience that is just truly and authentically Cuban and we feel you need to experience. So for this, for us to arrange the right kind of foods for you, you need to let us know your dietary requirements, whether you are vegan, you're celiac, you have any food intolerances, you have any food allergies, definitely can be um, accommodated. We just need to be aware that you have these requirements. So please let us know with regard to snacks, if you have any sort of intolerances, it's probably better that you bring your own supply with you. If you are a vegetarian or a vegan, you need to be aware that we can certainly um, accommodate you. However, you may not find too much of a choice in Cuba. So generally speaking, there will be rice, there will be beans, there will be salads. Um, that are available, there are vegetables that are available um, and just as a heads up generally speaking there is no price difference between a vegetarian or a, a, a meal that includes meat. Um, so as I mentioned please let us know your requirements and we can cater for you according to that. So further, further information with regard to food, um, the snacks are limited, convenience stores exist but certainly don't stack too much in a way of snack foods or junk foods that you may be used at home. So if you want to find say for example chocolate candy, healthy snacks like muesli bars and things like that, you're better off bringing some supply with yourself. As mentioned before, beans and rice are staples with cucumber, with tomato, with cabbage, with um, conventional ingredients for a salad. Chicken and pork are the most common meats that you will be served in Cuba. However, there are also some fish varieties or some seafood, especially if you end up in Baracoa, seafood is delicious over there and is more common. So please be aware that um, in Cuba there will be meals that are larger than you expect to finish so you don't have to force yourself it won't go to waste but you don't have to stuff yourself okay so it can also be hard to find a suitable place when you're traveling in Cuba roadside restaurants will have limited options as we like to call them the three amigos there will be a ham sandwich a cheese sandwich or a ham and cheese sandwich if you're lucky there may be a tuna sandwich available as well um, <laughs> but um, in smaller towns or things like that there will be uh, private loaned restaurants or paladares or things like that we also uh, I mean, I personally love to eat where the locals eat, so you can truly experience what they would be eating themselves um, rather than going to places that have the westernized, westernized meals. It's all up to you. It's all an experience. Um, as mentioned, if you have any dietary requirements, please just let us know prior to traveling. Cheers.